Welcome to the new chapter. The first level of the chapter is called Off the Rails. As soon as you start, you'll do a 180 and go to the very back of the train. This is where you originally was when you first got onto the train. And now for your next secret, once you find the red container, you can't really miss it. Go to the back side of it and open it to find your secret. For secret number three, once you go through the carts, you'll get to a point where this massive door will open and the two robots will come flying in and try and kill you. Now head into the next cart, it'll be the same procedure again, but this door won't open. Jump on the top here, then go down. Well, you can see it right there anyway, just jump up, then go down again. Welcome to the next level. This will be the casual casualties. So as soon as you start, this is where we spawn. Now for your first secret, this is located in this wall. The only way we can get to it is basically, I I found this by, by just fluke. Cause I tried to get to this, I'm up there. So I jumped on here and then all of a sudden I heard something. Then this wall opened. So that's your first secret. Now your secret number two is located in this next train. Blow open, go through to claim the next secret. For the first, or say I'll say the first, but for the next two secrets, once you get to the next section where you clearly see snacks as a shop. Before going to that shop, go to the left and shoot this fire extinguisher to reveal a secret area. Quickly run to the destination before you lose all your goodies. Then feel free to grab the jumping boots if you need to. Now for the next secret from the last location, go into the store that says snacks, interact with the register. Then look behind you, then the shelf will come down. Now from the last location, go through the next doorway. Once again, you have to come through here. Eventually, if you look to your right, you will find a place that says lounge. The secret is located behind this bookshelf. So the way to get this to open, you need to interact with the darts and then you have to get a bullseye. bullseye. And now once again from the last location, just head down the corridor before going through this um, manager's office. Look to the right, you'll see an oddly textured wall. Go inside to claim the next secret. And now, once you get down into the lower levels, you'll get to a part here that looks kind of pink and you get ambushed by a new enemy type that you've already been introduced. So it's like a human muscle with an electric type person. But once you're here, you want to go right into the locker room and then interact with the no smoking sign. You have to jump to do it. Then once you're inside, you'll gain the secret. All right then, for the final secret of the level. So once we get the blue key card and done everything we need to do, do not go through that door because that's where the finish line is. So now we're going to backtrack to the control room. So just to keep you informed, up these stairs and in this room here, there will be the place that we need to go, but we can't do that yet because for you, it will be locked. So we need to head to the manager's office. In this room, there will be a switch located on the left side of the control panel, A3-5. Once you press it, it will turn green. Now from here, you want to go to on the top of that train and jump inside. And in this train, you want to make a run and well, you just got to run to that location now, quick as you can, because it's time based. Go, go, go. Barb and weave. So as we go in there, we'll be completely safe from the radiation and you can freely grab your items here. Not great, not terrible. 
Hello guys, welcome back to the next level. This is now the Tunnel Disturbance. The first secret, as soon as you start the level, look left, interact with the wall, and that will be your first secret. So now, once again, from the last location, go into the next area, and in the pool, you will find a cracked wall right next to where the floating crate is. Just throw a bomb next to that wall, get your next secret. And now for the next secret, once you have gone through a few areas, you get to a point here where you'll see unit A, unit B, and, well, unit C over there. Oh yeah, that's right, there's unit C. I'm blind. But anyway, once you get to this location, go into unit B, and then climb into the vent here. Once you climb in here, go the only way you can, to so there'll be a path going left or straight. If you go left, you can get some more stuff. If you go straight, this leads you to the secret. Now go into the doorway to the right. It looks like it's locked. To find your next secret. And now for secret number four, after you have grabbed the blue key card and just follow the tracks. Can't really do nothing else but follow the tracks. Look down and you will find your next secret area. But how to get there is just keep following the tracks until you find four pieces of armor. On this left side, there'll be a vent that you can shoot. Go inside and follow the only way you can until you get to the secret area. Pretty much from the last location, so once you leave the vent you came into to get the last secret. Now just go down the tracks a bit further until you see this water section. What we need to do is jump in the water. This is where you have to go anyway. But instead of going through the door, go underneath this area here. Nice. And now this is almost from the last location, but once you go through the water then climb the ladder and you'll end up in the gate C section. When you get here, there will be two gate switches that you can press. To so press gate A and gate B. Gate A will lead you to a secret, gate B will lead you to your next destination. There we go. And now once you continue on following the train tracks, you get to this point here where you need to turn this elevator on with a generator. In this exact same room, you will find a green container and a brown container together. Stand on top of this brown container and then you want to shoot that with an explosive. In that little container or the green container will be your next secret. And now here we are on top of the elevator that we need to power using the generator. Once you have gotten up here, once again, this is all part of the story. We're going to find three secrets now in a row. So as soon as you come up here, you will find your first secret by pressing this switch. This will reveal a secret switch that reveal a wall that so you go inside to find your first one. Now go to the next room. In the control room, there will be a secret here. So once you dealt with the bad guys, look behind this control panel area for a secret switch that you can press or pull. And then you'll find your armor. And now before actually jumping down all the way, jump down next to that container. Yeah. And there we go. And now for the next secret is once you drop down from where the container was, where we got the previous secret. Now go down the tracks. This is where you, this um, train or the tram just went through the electric to disable it. Now as you go down the tunnel, there will be an enemy here to so be careful. But halfway down the tunnel, you'll find a cracked wall. All you need to do once again is just use your explosives. And now once again from the last location, as you follow the train tracks down, the wall here to the left will explode. Once you see that happen, then you want to jump inside. Go to the back side of this wall, you will find some explosives. Try your best not to blow them up just yet, just because we need this one here just to get to the secret. Of course you can use double jump if you want to back there, but it's pretty pointless saving that double jump just for this part. And now for the secret number three, we now want to proceed outwards. 
There's absolutely no point going through this wall with a barrow's worm. And now proceed on backwards until you see the red pipe. Before going out and leaving to the next adventure, just go down and swim all the way down to the bottom of the pipe. And now just continue on as normal and just beat the level. And now as you start the level, you will go through this hole in the wall and then you'll be on the tracks. As soon as you follow the tracks, stay on the right side and drop down, you'll see a vent. Go through that and go in the water and then go to the other side. This will lead you to your next secret. And now pretty much from the last location, just leave the vent that we went in, follow the tracks and then turn right. As soon as you turn right, you'll see a vent here that you can open and then you'll grab your next secret. And now for the next secret, I don't really need to show you much, but once you go through the D exit door here, if, well, also if you go down there, there will be an armor piece. So feel free to go down there and grab it now. But once you go through this door, once again, you need to come through here anyway. You will see a blue pipe on the left and you'll see a guy right next to it. Behind him, if you look at the wall carefully, you'll see an indentation in the wall. Of course, if you use that radar scanner thing, it'll tell you where it is anyway. It'll show you the, the area of the secret. I won't tell you how to get to it. And now for the secret number four, once we have flipped this switch, now we need to go back where we came from and go down the tracks. I do apologize if you've already went down here before to get the armor piece. Go back down here again and then you will see that there the train has moved back slightly. And on the right hand side there will be a door. Go through that door and then this will be your secret room. Holy shit. Now as we proceed on. We will find a place where we see some water down below. We see a stairway going down and we'll find a, a turret down there as well. Before going down there, we want to grab the double jump boots that you probably see. We don't need to grab them, but it's also a good helping hand to actually get the secret, but we don't actually need them to get the secret. Just makes it a lot more easier. And now once again from the last location, we're going to ignore all directions with no diving or no swimming, just to get down there a lot faster. Charlie ho! Now once you're in the water, go through the little tunnel here and then go into this hole or the doorway where the fan is. Swim to the side and you can easily grab this next secret. Now how do we get out of here? And now for secret number seven, as soon as you go through the doorway, that leads to the previous area that we came from. Look to the left, interact with the wall, and then this will be your next secret. And now for the next secret, once you get into this location, once again, you can't really miss it. As you go into the coolant and powers controls, there will be a button that you need to press anyway, but right next to you, there's the right, there'll be a vent, but interact with the control panel here. This will interact with the panel over here to get you a secret. And now for secret number nine, once you get to this piston section where you see the pistons go up and down, all we need to do is drop down to the very bottom. Uh, not that too far down to the bottom anyway. Drop down to the bottom, be careful of the bad guy down here and go towards this platform here. Run across here, then it's not unlock the door. Go into the vent and then you want to interact with this side here. Go inside and you'll find your Next secret room, this will be an Aliens reference. And now for the final secret of this level, once you get the lockdown lifted, you can now enter this doorway. Previously, we've already been here already once, but we had to go that way instead. But now we can go left. As soon as you enter, you will kill many guards up here. I'll well, say many, three. Then on your left side, you can definitely tell there's a wall there that you can press. Just jump over using your platforming skills yeah you didn't see that okay that, that never happened first try baby and there we go